made it to the and you can see I'm still at the airport. Everything's beautiful. And there's wooden floors everywhere. Interesting. Okay, I'm in the car. I found the car. My uh, my bags are still in London. That's making everything really lovely. And it's really shitty and pissy rain. Reminds me of, actually, London. Um, but uh, I guess I'm coming back here around 8 o'clock to get my bags. So get us to drive around Oslo and see what's there. So it has begun. Yet again, I'm in Norway. Um, wow. Yeah, I'm still at the speechless phase, so uh, I guess you'll get more commentary later. Quick! I'm betting I'm going to put good money on this. This is the first time Norman Pikes have ever been played in Norway. It's by me. So, rock on. Now, after much, much longer than I probably will ever tell anybody, here's Oslo. Finally made it here. We really don't want to talk about how long it took. How many missed roads? Beautiful, beautiful city. It wasn't raining, shitty, and pissy. I'm sure, the escapes would be even better. I think we're gonna go down there and try to find something to eat. Ooh, things to buy. Oh, it's nice. Oh, well, this whole video diary thing hasn't been going too good. Uh, mainly because. Uh, Yesterday all we did is bum around the city a little bit and ended up going back to the airport from yeah, roughly 8.30 at night to like 10.30 at night trying to find that second bag. We did find the first bag. I do have clothes. Just don't have any of my camping gear, which makes pretty much traveling and getting out of the city a bitch. So, slept in my car last night. That's uh, about 20 kilometers outside the airport. Um, just woke up a little while ago. It's about 9 a.m. This time, uh, well, I should really set this. It says it's 3 a.m. on the uh, night. Oh, which I guess it probably would be back home. So, anyway, um, I guess we're trying again at 11 o'clock to go get our uh, bag to see if it's in. And uh, that's where things stand. Uh, not too, too exciting. The city was nice. I bought a sleeping bag, which helped last night. Anyway, I guess we'll see how things happen. Okay, those of you who know me won't be too shocked by this. I'm driving and filming at the same time. And I'm sure I'm going to yell that for it. But hey, got my other bag! Woohoo! You're a bit happy. Now I feel at least uh, okay, a hell of a lot better. Because at least I've got all my shit and the trip can really, really, really start. So now I'm just heading up north. Uh, thinking the road I'm taking will take me to Little Hama. Hey, they had the Olympics there. It's probably something worth seeing. Uh, so we're we'll just driving now. Measly 55, 60 miles an hour. Yeah, I see why it takes a while to get the places here. Um, there, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's one of the Wednesday. I'm going to see how I feel. I think I'm going to start heading south at that point. Uh, GPS is coming in. Hell of a handy. So, yeah, I'll probably give you some shots here while I'm driving. that the Norwegians went to Minnesota and Wisconsin because it reminds me of that area a lot. But uh, anyway, that's all for now. Yeah. Uh, stopping at, uh, oh, what the hell? Where the hell am I? Uh, yeah. Uh, Trent. Not Trent, New Jersey, just Trent. On that way to Lome, I am going to make it up there to do some uh, hiking, hopefully. Just wanted to share with you uh, these lovely berries that I bought. Fresh. Oh, amazingly good. Just like ones you used to pick in Wisconsin. This is really explaining a lot, actually. Um, now... I don't know how good this will come out. With the angle and everything. And with the color and with the sun. Beautiful. 
me back up further. The greenness of this water is just incredible. I mean, it's like a lake green. It's just stunning. Look at that. Look at that water. The entire thing. Driving with Ken in Norway. Hello, my fine traveling friends. Oh, it's me again. We've stopped for a few minutes. Made it up to Lome. Uh, we stopped on a... <laughs> Where am I? There I am. Made it to Lome. We stopped on a one-way uh, road. I have some pictures of it, actually. Um, the main road that I was going to take was washed away a couple weeks ago by a bad thunderstorm, so... I had to take an alternate route, and that one was one lane, so they had to close down one side as the other side passed. So, made it to Loam, past Loam. We're now essentially on the edge of Jotunheim National Park, which is land of the gods. And looking around me and all the mountains, they're really, really big. Anyway, what I was stopped here for was, if we will, uh, for a second, move up there. And even zoom in on it. That would be water from glaciers that are up on top of that mountain. And that water, if we follow it down, eh, well, we're going to get interrupted by the trees. But anyway, when we follow it down, I don't think I really feel safe carrying the camera down there. But as you can see, there's a river back there. You can probably hear there's a river back there. Anyway, I just went down to that river and filled up about six water bottles with that lovely, oh god, it tastes good water. It's also nice and cold, so I'm sure that helps it taste good, but um, I got my glacial water. I wanted it a little bit to get closer, but who knows, maybe we will. I've got other bottles I can probably fill up with maybe. So, anyway, now we're going to go and what we haven't done is take a look at the car. Somehow we didn't get the Prius we were looking at. We got a Skoda Fabia. Yes, two names that we've not heard together before. The Skoda and Fabia is a wonderful car. It's 13-inch wheels. It's, oh my god, even smaller brakes. How does it stop? Yeah, uh huh. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, it's a four-door. Decent fuel mileage. I don't know the exact kilometers per hour, but I did the the mileage on the first little bit that I put in, and that was driving around the city a lot, and that got me um, roughly about 32 miles away miles away down. Ooh, wait. I think I might be able to. You know, I can see it, lovers of nature. I don't know if we can. Yeah, probably not. But in through there, down through there is where I walked to get to that little river. Very big, loud river though. That was following the uh, glacial trail down and kind of came out right there. I actually might go over to see if I can get directly from it, but it still runs down a mountain. Anyway, land of the giants. Well now, we've reached a, uh, another video to the point, I believe. Um, that's my, uh, that's my sight right here. With one heck of a chilly wind probably going right into that microphone right now. And, uh, well, <sighs> zoom in on this. That's specifically that elevation that says I'm 3,292 feet, which I think the highest I've ever been is a little over 2,000. And now I'll give you, uh, why this is a videotape moment. This is what I see. Breathtaking.
Hey, while we're up here, while we're videotaping, I'll, uh, I'm gonna get a shot of, uh, maybe it's not a glacier, but over there, that's that piece of ice that my uh, water came from. That's the top of the mountain where it was dripping down from. take pictures okay so not the other time it was a photo op time I was wrong we will observe that it's really really windy but that and uh, that ice right there well I just ran over there and I grabbed this because as I may or may not have commented I probably will have by this time of being with you ice is impossible to find here gas stations don't sell it so, I had to buy a cooler, but I didn't have any ice. Oh, by the way, I'm, uh, hmm. no, where am I? I am, uh, oh, 5,500 feet, 5,530 to be exact. Yeah, this is uh, doing wonders for my fear of heights. As I'm driving, I look down and see all of that. Whew, make me a little bit nervous. Now's the bad time to be a bad driver. It's really windy, quite cold. Still haven't found a place to stay tonight. Probably gonna go down the other side of this into a valley. See, well, those of you following along with me at home will note where I'm at. There is a glacier, and there's the water from it. And that be to what I'm heading to get an idea of how far I've come. Somewhere. Hey, there's the car. Oh, I can see it. Oh, yeah. I've walked all that on this. It's been very interesting. Catch you when the big moment happens. All of us have those little things that we go on vacation and we say we want to do. Yeah, well, I've actually said I wanted to do this for a long time. Bottle. See, I should have brought somebody on just so they could get me on all this. And here it is. Oh. 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 And I'm not making it up just because it took me all this to get here. It is really clean water. I'm, uh, I'm hopefully bringing some bottles back for eh, whoever wants to try them. Wow. What a skyline. Oh, and uh, also for those of you playing at home, I'm at, uh, oh, what do we got here? I'm at 6,000 feet. Hopefully that's reading. Oh, well, hold on a sec. I don't know if I've ever been higher. Maybe I have. I don't know where De what Denver is, but uh, thanks, Dad, for letting me borrow this. And thanking me and Michelle and Mom for buying it for you came in handy for me and uh, also those of you wondering I'm snapping all these pictures I'm taking this I'm walking around it is um yeah by my clock it's 9 43 p.m. I might add it looks about six o'clock at home of course by the time we get down the other side of the mountain and uh, into the park area where I can actually be and stay It'll probably be a hell of a lot later, or a hell of a lot darker, actually. Uh, let's fill this bottle complete. Uh, uh, set you guys down for a moment. Uh, I'm just gonna be gonna make coffee with it tomorrow morning. See that? So yeah, this would be that distance I just walked. And uh, it's black, it's a hell of a longer than it looks. Here, the air's really thin. There's my glacier, and my water. 
And for you, Jen and Mike, my rental car key is right here. See, I did learn something from that. Oh well. Yeah, the night vision on this thing doesn't work with shit. It moves everything really slow. What is it? There we go. That's better. Light. Light on light. Anyway, this is my small little tent, which is really small, but hey. I'm one person, I'm kind of small, so. Just, uh. Just went and relaxed, had a beer at the, uh. Oh, yeah. Forgot to tell you, if you don't know. Because you probably don't. I, uh. Couldn't go back down. Because I was actually paid to get into the. Uh, area so this is the look outside my tent yeah I'm pretty much the last place I showed you I'm 6,000 feet up on top of a mountain right next to Glacier that's where I'm camping tonight just going back down <laughs> I had already paid it I didn't pay just to see it so it's not too cold don't really need a uh, don't really need any fire or anything so it's all good it's all set. Lights on. Morning, travelers. Oh, it's about 8.30 in the morning. I am literally just waking up. And it's light out. Well, of course, it was light out all night. Um, even at uh, 1, 2, 3 in the morning, I woke up periodically. Uh, it was light out. It was never pitch dark. Very fascinating. Let's take a look. Ooh, heavy cloud cover. Whoa, lots of clouds. Time to start the day. Come on, boys and girls. Um, actually still up by the glacier because uh, oh, I decided to go hike it. I didn't actually go across the gray glacier. Because uh, as crazy as I am, I'm not stupid. Oh, I found out maybe why I like carrots so much. You can't buy processed bag carrots. It's all fresh carrots. You have to bite the tips off. And they're excellent. Anyway, so, uh, up there, that's where I hiked, over that snow, over the second breath of snow, and then down into a valley, and then the glacier starts, and I decided not to go up there, so, uh, my wonderful cat boots. That boots survived. Worked wonders. Oh, I don't know. I'm exhausted. Didn't really have much to eat before I went up there. So, uh, I head down. I had to loam. Grab something to eat. Get some gas. And maybe go to our museum. I don't know yet. But, um, catch you later. I'm going to shut up and pretty much let all this tell its own story. That sound you hear in the background is that. And other people drawing it too.
I can guarantee you this doesn't do this justice at all. Hello again all. Well, in my attempt to uh, keep this movie PG, or at least PG-13, I just bathed in here. Eh, it wasn't just the PG thing, it was also the fact that I really don't think I have the ability of bathing and videotaping at the same time. Or enough time walking videotaping, as it seems. But, uh, as you'll see, this beautiful mountain river, and... A little beach. Huh? Well, I guess you can't see it. There's the little beach that I kind of sat on and walked into the water and washed myself up. The uh, mountain stream in Colorado that I washed myself up uh, has nothing on this thing when it comes to coldness. Water's quite cold. And the car's going by. And once again, I'm really, really glad I don't have hair. Because at that time, on my way to Cali, in Colorado, I had long hair. And I decided to wash the hair. And I think dunking my head under this water would have probably killed me. I know the handfuls that I dumped on my head just to clean it off and wake myself up, which, whew, boy am I awake, were just quite enough. But you'll see the wonderful cliffs. God, I really hope this camera catches the greenness of this water. I was told by a local woman when I was stopped on my way to Loam, she was from there, that uh, it's caused by the glacial water. Uh, these are the only rivers in the world that really have this because of being pure glacial water. Anyway, right, right on the other side of that rock. Well, at least I know if people came up here, they couldn't see me. Anyway, that's all for now. Oh, sorry for the long delay. It's been a very long day. Stopped and took way too many pictures, got behind the schedule. So I was running my ass off to find some place to camp and to get at least close enough where I can do what I need to tomorrow. So, with that being said, it is actually uh, 12.56 a.m. Which, as you can look around and maybe see, I don't know, still some daylight out there. Pretty incredible. And, uh, the fire going. The, uh, you good old tent here. Guess maybe we should illuminate. Yeah, maybe the light on this works better. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the tent. The tent, and about to have my first real meal. Got the chicken the other day. Finally gonna get to make it over the fire. Can't beat it. Found some wood today. Not exactly sure if I was allowed to take it, but uh, I did, so, you know, now I would. Anyway, the sky is beautiful, of course, not going to be able to see it because cameras don't work that funky, but anyway, just wanted to let you know I'm alive and well. Oh, yeah, I brought some shrimp too, probably going to do them next, I'm starving, I like to get in bed, hey, there's the Big Dipper, I like to get in bed at least by two, get about seven hours of sleep get up and I get about a four hour drive to Kristensand. So drive there, meet up with Kettle, spend a little bit of time with him and then hour and a half up to the concert. So talk to you in the morning. Uh, morning campers. Uh, it's about 8.30. Yeah, I don't want to be awake, but you gotta start the day. Oh, let's see. Wow. I think we chose a pretty darn nice place to camp, wouldn't you say? Very nice. Well, let's get this day started. Yeah, well, I'm going to take some more videotape of this. It's a pretty breathtaking little view here. 
go, okay, I should be in the middle of some commercial for something that's highly addictive. Just incredible. You know, it might take me a decently small fire and three utensils to do it. Luckily enough, I still had this in the car. But I must say, I make a fine cup of coffee. Dark roast. It's actually really damn good. Uh, anyway, gotta take another shot around. I got some shots of this, the sun coming out. Peeking through some clouds, it was laying light across the mountains and across the water. Got some pictures of it, I don't know how they're gonna turn out. But, uh, well, time for me to change and break camp. Talk to you soon. Good boys and girls. Uh, just uh, driving to the show. Uh, uh, called and texted Kettle and was never able to get a hold of them. So hoping he uh, does have a ticket there reserved or I can finagle my way in there somewhere. Okay, hold up. Hey, I'm from Ohio. I came here all the way from there for the concert. Probably would have flown in. As in the past. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, just driving up. Uh, it's been a good day in uh, Christian Sand. I don't really need a, a guide there. It's a lot to see. Very beautiful place. Great pictures of this church that's there. Uh, being right on the ocean. Very nice. The weather is great. It's gotta be uh, between 72 and 74 degrees. No humidity. Oh, it's been gorgeous. You guys suffer in that 90 degree. Could use that. I'm uh, um, 4,000 miles away from home, or six, or however many. Worked well. Oh, you're on tape. 
Hey, here's a seat. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh no. Busted. Oh wow. You can actually use that chair if you want to. Oh, Turn thank you. Out. Okay. Saying that we're gonna sell like typical traditional food. I thought I saw something else. Yeah. 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 <coughs> His job is to carry the big fuzzy thing. What do you do for a living? I carry a big fuzzy thing. <laughs> He's carrying a dog. I wish I had gotten a picture of it, but... Uh...